A salamander's tail, if it's cut off, will regenerate. A sea star's legs, if cut off, will regenerate. You also have a body part that can regenerate. Your rib bones. If a surgeon removes one of your lower rib bones, it will regenerate. One surgical procedure used by doctors is called a split rib cranioplasty. Doctors have reconstructed the skulls of injured patients using donated rib bone. All patients had complete regeneration of the donor rib. Another surgical procedure that uses the rib bones is called thoracoplasty. Amazingly, ribs grow back and when they do, they will grow back straight. There are a staggering number and variety of animals on Earth. Most of them do not appear to have the ability to regenerate body parts. Why do some animals have this ability to regenerate body parts, but not others? Some salamander species use tail autonomy to escape predators. The tail will drop off and wriggle around for a little while, and the salamanders will either run away or stay still enough to not be noticed while the predator is distracted. Salamanders routinely regenerate complex tissues. Within only a few weeks of losing a piece of limb, a salamander perfectly reforms the missing structure. This is a useful trait for the salamander. But why would men benefit from regenerating their ribs? Long before modern medicine, internet and video, radio, and electronics, long before modern technology, a text was written that explained how a regenerating rib could be useful. Around 3,460 years ago, these words were inscribed by a man named Moses to describe how a woman was created out of man. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Science today confirms that when a rib is removed from a human, it regrows. In fact, if a rib is removed, it will regrow completely in about six months. If this God that Moses writes about designed our ribs to regrow, it helps explain why both men and women have the same number of ribs. If a rib was removed from the first man to make the first woman, the rib probably grew back, so the first man would be fully man again. But why would humans have evolved or be designed to have regenerating ribs, but yet most of our other bones do not regenerate? It is specifically the rib bones, not arm bones, not leg bones. It is the rib bones that regenerate. Why? The best logical explanation is that the book of Genesis, written thousands of years ago, is an accurate record of how people were created by God. And specifically, God took a rib from man to make the first woman. So that the first man would not be incomplete, his rib grew back. Men and women both have the same number of ribs. We each have 12 pairs of ribs. If God made woman from man, why would God make her from a bone in man's side? Woman was not made for man's head, 
to rule over him. Woman was not made from man's feet to be trampled upon. If God made woman from man's side, maybe it was because man should keep his woman near his side to be his companion and near his heart to be loved.